My name is Katie and I'm from Alaska. Before I came to massage school, I was doing grant writing and a lot of technical assistance, coordination, and I hated it. <laughs> I was looking for a change because I felt like I lost a lot of passion in just my life in general, and I knew that I wanted a career that brought that passion back, and I found this. You guys were the first one on the Google search engine and I clicked it and the photos and videos like this one just looked amazing and no one had dry eyes and I knew that there's something to it here, you know, this place is special. The outdoor classrooms are amazing. I love it. The openness, just the rain and the sun, it's beautiful. You have lizards and butterflies and dogs and cats just come through and they're all students too. I think the openness in the classrooms is really reflective of the energy that the school brings. Everyone wants to be here, no one's forced to be here, so you're not with a group of people that aren't trying. Every single student that comes has such a different background, but everyone's accepted here, and it's not an environment where you have to feel embarrassed about anything. Even with emotional releases, I was super nervous about that and when it would come, if it would come, but when it did, <laughs> because it will, it's nothing to even think about. It's just, a, that's what it is, it's a release, and releases are needed. So the curriculum was very intense, like they tell you, but it's definitely doable. You know, find your group of people that you study with. I always thought I was a person to study by myself, but I found that the more I got either with that one-on-one -on -one person that I loved studying with or in a group, that I did so much better on just all the exams. All my challenges were internal. So a lot of it was missing home, or feeling like maybe other students were doing so much better than me, but you just kind of have to shake off that voice and remember like you're here for a reason. If you had told me a year ago that I would be a massage student and now a massage therapist, I would not have believed you. Living in Samara for the past five and a half months has just been so much fun. It's everything that I've wanted in a study abroad program. And the food is amazing. If you're not trying as much food as possible, I don't know what you came to Samara for. The food was one of my favorite parts. My favorite memories would have to be Ariba Night, as it's infamously known. Well, a few of us went to the beach, and then we just decided that we would head down to one of the um, local hangouts, and it was also ladies' night, so dangerous, but it was amazing because the whole dance floor was just filled with massage students, and it was the best time. I loved craniosacral. It was one of my favorite parts of the program for sure. Kate, our instructor, was amazing. She's the best. And our water day, which was the very last day of class, it was just fun to be out in the water with the students, with everybody, and have that kind of final moment together in a way where we're literally all connected by the water. The next steps for me are to pass the Emblex. <laughs> and um, I'm actually looking to open my own practice. So yeah, I'm gonna start that journey. And you know, if you're ever in Metlakatla, Alaska, come by my studio. <laughs> the advice I would give someone that is unsure if they wanna study abroad is why not? This is such a beautiful and safe 
way to dip your toes into something that is beyond your world. And I don't think anyone should miss this experience if you have the opportunity.